side note, if you guys ever use one of these plastic little containers, kind of like a pelican, they work awesome as humidors. Put a boba to pack in it, you're ready to rock and roll. That's not it. That's almost it. <laughs> there it is. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tobacco Talk. I'm Cigar Show Tim. And every week on Tobacco Talk, I review a cigar, share my thoughts from my perspective, flavor notes, burned construction, all the different things that you want to learn about. And well, then I rate the cigars, whether it's noteworthy or not. If you enjoy that kind of content, make sure you click subscribe and ring that bell so you know every time I upload new content, you'll get alerted. Make sure you ring the bell, but you'll get alerted about it. So this week's cigar. This week's cigar comes from a manufacturer who I've enjoyed uh, their entire previous line before, and I was sent these to check out uh, as promised, so thank you to Chris Monaco. If any of you know who he is, then you'll know what I'm reviewing, and you'll read it in the title. I don't know why I make it seem like a mystery every week when you've seen the title. But this week, the cigar comes from Amandola Family Cigars, a great, great company with Jeffrey Amandola and Chris Monaco as the two owners of it. And, you know, when I heard that they were going to be working with Aganorsa, I had to get my hands on some because I admittedly have not had anything from Aganorsa, at least that I know of. So this week's cigar comes to us from Amandola Family Cigars, and it is their new Maturo because everything for them is Italian, which is cool. But this week's cigar is the Maturo from Amandola Family Cigars. This one doesn't have a band on it because, well, it's one of the pre-release ones. So let's cut it, let's light it, and see what it's like. Let's light it up. everybody so let's get into this this is the toro size is the 6x52 with a little bit of like a rounded torpedo cap on it and the construction on it is just beautifully done the wrapper on it is not super oily the texture is just a little bit oily um, very well wrapped there's a couple veins in it so we'll see how strong this cigar is uh, and it's got a one, two, looks like triple, possibly quadruple wrap, but I'm going to say it's a triple wrap cap on it, and it's just beautifully done. So let's cut it, let's light it, and let's see how this goes. And I'm going to be using, I haven't talked about lighters and cutters much recently, but I'm going to actually V-cut this one. I know it's, you know, sort of a rounded tip but it, or cap, but everybody's going to be like, why don't you just straight cut? I if you like doing a V cut, so I'm going to use my Lotus Jaws 2.0 V cut, and you can just deal with it. Beautifully done, even if I do say so myself. So let's go for some cold drawn notes on this. Draws a little tight, but not bad. Get some uh, dried fruit. A little bit of breadiness to it. A little bit of hint, 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 hint of cocoa. So immediately off of light up, definitely some of the <clears throat> darker flavors you expect in more of a Maduro cigar. Some earthiness, some soil, a little bit of woodiness in there, a little bit of like a, a bitter roasted coffee, not an off-putting bitter coffee, but a little bit of, of a 
a bitter coffee note to it. Man, look at the smoke coming off of that foot. It's incredible. Yeah, in the retro hell, you get a lot of earthiness with it. Yeah, look at the smoke coming off, guys. Beautiful. All right, I've cut, I've lit, I've got some initial thoughts on it. I'm gonna jump into the first third and let's see how this Maturo from Amandola Family Cigars treats me. I'll be back in a second. Welcome back, everybody. I am at the end of the first third and probably a little bit further than that. And I realized I did not do something that I absolutely should have done to start, let me set my cigar down, should have done to start this review. Time to ditch the Cigar Show Tim hat. And I gotta rock the Amendola hat. I mean, come on now, I've got one, so why don't I wear it? So let's just set that one aside for a second. So let's go over the makeup of this cigar. This one again is a Toro to 6x52 and it has a Corojo Maduro wrapper on it and the binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. That's all it says, doesn't disclose anything else. But if you followed me for any amount of time, you know I love, love <clears throat> Nicaraguan tobacco. There's just a, a certain spice that goes into it and, and flavor because of the volcanic soil and because of the regions that um, Nicaragua has tobacco grown in. It's just phenomenal. And the smoke just keeps coming off of the foot here. So the flavor notes in the first third <clears throat> have stayed pretty much what uh, they were on light up. It's starting to develop a little bit more as I'm at the end of the first third getting into the second third with some flavor notes uh, that are more savory. There's a little more of like a, a, a creaminess to it uh, with a little bit of spice. The retrohale is a little bit spicy, not much, definitely not the level of spicery. We'll see if it gets to that point, but I don't know yet, obviously. Uh, but the earthiness is definitely there. That's a strong note in this cigar so far. So there's some earthiness, there's some savory notes, um, maybe a little bit of nuttiness, not a whole lot. It, it's very, very faint, um, but for me, I pick it up. I really enjoy a good nuttiness in a cigar. So that's what I'm getting so far on this. The draw is doing well. Haven't had any issues with it. Have not had to correct it. Have not had to relight it. And as you can see, the burn is, I mean, just about razor straight doing phenomenally well. So those are my thoughts on the first third. I'm going to jump into the second third, continue enjoying the cigar, and I'll be back with you all in just a second. All right, everybody, wrapping up the second third on the cigar. And the smoke, again, just keeps coming off of the foot nonstop. It's doing great. So flavor notes in the second third of the cigar. Much, much more dessert-like. Very uh, chocolatey, use a word from a couple weeks ago, chocolateness aboundeth much. Uh, <clears throat> great chocolatey notes. And the spice level has ramped up a little bit. I'd say this is definitely more of like a medium plus right now. Not quite full, but definitely touching close to a medium plus to a full, getting close to a full in terms of body. But good dessert stick chocolate the spice is there on the retro the spice comes through a little bit more there's a little bit of a like a pepper note that's there kind of coats the mouth a little bit but the finish is really long and it's really good and it, it almost gets better the longer you go in between each puff on the cigar because the flavor just continues to finish and go and go and the chocolate notes there isn't any of the the nuttiness that was just there for just a split second when i did the last segment and it has progressed well. The burn is doing well still. I did have to relight it once only because I was working on editing stuff and let it go out. So that's my fault because it sat for quite some time. But the second, third, those have been my thoughts on it. It is doing very well. The flavor is doing very well. And everybody that watches me knows I'm not much of a bold or a Maduro fan when it comes to cigars that are really strong. But this one piqued my interest, so that's why I wanted to review the Maturo first. Uh, out of the new ones, I've got their new Cremoso, and I've got uh, their Natural as well. And so I'm anxious to check those out later on. But those have been my thoughts on the second third of this cigar. I'm going to jump into the final third and come back to you with my rating. As you know, here at Tobacco Talk, it's either nubworthy or it's not. 
So I'll come back at the end of the cigar, give you my final thoughts on it, and give you my rating. Be right back. everybody let's wrap up this review on the amendola family cigars maturo toro <clears throat> it's a six by 52 and i gotta tell you it finished off really well as you can see i'm down to the nub on this one and i should actually probably get my nub tool so i don't risk burning my fingers on this one so let's do that here entertain yourself for a second as you can see smoke is still doing really well coming off the foot so flavor notes in the final third it stayed the same but it developed and you're thinking how does that make sense if it stayed the same it shouldn't have developed more the flavors transitioned a little bit but not much it's still a dessert stick for me it is still very chocolatey uh, rich there's some uh, rich earthy soil in there and I did pick up a little bit of the coffee again the espresso it's not bitter it's just a nice smooth like silky espresso flavor note to it but the chocolate notes and the the sweeter tobacco is what I picked up in the final third a lot very sweet not overly sweet at all but just a good dessert stick that's really how how I label this one it's a dessert stick the creaminess is still there a little bit but it is much more whew, smoking me out and I'm not even smoking the thing. But the uh, the creaminess, the sweetness, the, the cocoa chocolate notes are all there. The rich earthiness are still there. I got a little bit of maybe like a, a star anise kind of black licorice just for a second while I was taking, you know, draw after draw just because it was so good and i had to slow down but as it if you're taking a lot of quick draws on you can get a little bit of a black licorice or a star anise kind of note to it but it is done very well so my rating nub worthy or not it is absolutely nub worthy if you have not tried any of the amandola family cigars whether it's the uh, new core line that's coming out or whether it's the ones that are done by the lazona factory Amandola Family Cigars is absolutely knocking it out of the park. You have got to go and check them out. Jeff Amandola and Chris Monaco with Amandola Family Cigars are two phenomenal guys. I've uh, had the fortune of spending time with each of them. And I can tell you that they're just good down to earth guys that have a passion for cigars and a passion for cigars that are good. It's not a matter of just, oh, we want to put out cigars. They are partnering with such phenomenal factories. Obviously this one comes out of the Agonorsa factory, as well as some of their others that come out of the Lazona factory, which is Espinosa's. They are doing it right. So go and check out Amandola Family Cigars. Go and pick up yourself some, and you will not be disappointed, especially with this Maturo. You've got to go check it out. But that's going to do it for this episode of Tobacco Talk. Those are my thoughts on it, and uh, yeah, it's definitely noteworthy. So as always, enjoy your cigar journey. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share it with your friends that enjoy cigars, and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. But enjoy your cigar journey. That's going to do it for this edition of Tobacco Talk. I'm Cigar Show Tim, as always. I'll see you.